guys welcome back to another what's another transfer show on today's episode we'll be discussing the whole Mitro Sidorovic situation at Pirates um guys if you haven't heard coach Mitro resigned from his position as head coach at Orlando Pirates um yesterday um the club came out with a statement um on all of their social media platforms um making way that the Serbian coach had um, resigned due to personal reasons. Um, the coach says that his mother is sick with breast cancer in Serbia, so he wants to travel back and spend time with her allegedly. But um, why would a coach of Coach Mitro's caliber and a big club of Orlando Pirates um, not work something out? Maybe she could have traveled to South Africa, or the, maybe they could have given him some time off because I mean, there's um a reliable team at Orlando Pirates we have coach Rolani we have coach Fadu who can take over while he takes some time off it doesn't make sense letting a coach um just leave um in my opinion I'm suspecting that um due to the loss um against Supersport in in the week in the PSL the bid the 3-0 loss to Supersport might have a contributing factor to his resignation but what I believe is something um, between the coach and the board members um, there might have been a breakdown but let's listen to the statement that um, he put out on social media um, to the fans dear supporters uh, spiritual owners of Orlando Pirates the institution uh, I would like to use this opportunity and occasion to wholeheartedly appreciate those over 740 days uh, that we have spent together. I want to, to thank uh, personally uh, Dr. Ivan Koza, our chairman, that has brought me to this club for the second time. Due to the challenges that I'm uh, personally facing, uh, I'm leaving this position, but in the same moment I will uh, look forward for the challenges that once I'm settled are coming ahead of me. I really value and appreciate each moment spent with you. And as the, we are always saying, once and always. Okay, there was the message that the Orlando Pirates put out on their social media regarding the whole uh, Mitro situation where he explains the love that he still has for the club and um, partially while he's leaving. But um, reports are coming out of Egypt already that um, Coach Mitro has been appointed as the new coach of Zamalek. So I really don't understand how you go from quitting Pirates then you're appointed as a new coach of Zamalek. Because the president of Zamale came out and said they have announced, they have appointed Coach Mitchell as their new head coach. But um, Coach Mitchell actually, um, he actually responded to 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 these statements, and um, this is what he said: "I'm traveling to see my mother sick in Serbia, and we shall see what comes of that. Will I come back to Africa?" But if he really wants me, he needs to fork out million. What? At the moment, Pirates announced I have resigned. I am traveling in a flight to my country. Okay. He, did, he said he's traveling to his mother. And if he wants me, he'll need to fork out millions. But he never said I am not joining Zamalek. That's where the suspicion comes. But in, in, in my opinion, I think there might be more to this story because... Let's look at how much money Orlando Pirates have spent in this window in building the project that they are building at um, Orlando Pirates and Coach Mitchell was a big part of that. I think a club might have come in for lodge and if I was the head coach, I would tell the club or I would give the club an ultimatum. If you sell, co um, if you sell lodge, I'm leaving. And uh, latest reports are claiming that Dijon has also come in and are sniffing around Lodge and they are apparently looking at Lodge as a serious um, option. So we have three clubs. We have Toulouse, Dijon and Real St. Union. Two clubs in France and a club in Belgium looking at Lodge. So if I was a head coach, 
and Lodge is my best player, I would give Paris the ultimatum. If you sell Lodge, I am leaving. But at the same time, looking at it from the Paris perspective, Paris have spent a lot of money in the window and selling Lodge for the right price would balance out their books. So from a financial standpoint for Paris, it would make sense if um, the teams from Europe came with a crazy amount for Lodge. Um, guys, this is my opinion on, on, on the situation. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Please like, comment, subscribe and leave your comments down so we can discuss um, the whole situation.